Those behavior. Hey, boys and girls. Okay. We're gonna do, let me see, I got my wig on straight. Let me see, hang on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for the boys. Yeah, I know. I, I know you guys like writing about that stuff. Go ahead, I don't care. So, business 101 again, ethics today, postage. So, I just got my package from Anja's, A-N-J-A, -A, Arts. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I loved everything, but just so you know, I'm not getting on you. One of them was um, clipped at the end, and it fell all over the living room when I opened it. Just one, that's all. Just thought you should know. Tie both ends, that's all. Okay, see, isn't this beautiful? Nice box. She had great packaging. It was wonderful. I didn't get an invoice. Y'all know how I feel about my invoices. Okay, moving right along. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? I got some garnets. Everything's six millimeter. Yeah, God's moving me in other directions. And it's wonderful. I love all my stuff. Anja, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, mwah. And today we're going to talk about postage, boys and girls. Because Deborah, with her cute little self, has learned me on some postage stuff. Okay? Now, visualize that commercial. If it fits, it ships. If it fits, it ships. If it fits... Okay, marinate on that. Do, 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 do. Time's up. Flat rate. Flat. Hmm. Let's marinate on that. Flat. Let me see. It's a straight surface. It usually goes this way. The flat could go this way. And uh, let's see. Flat. Hmm. All the same. One, hmm, if it fits, flat rate, if it fits, flat rate. Maybe that means, oh, I only have to pay one price. So I get to pay one price if it fits in the box. If it fits in the box, okay. $6.10. Now, I value as a businesswoman the fact that you need to charge me for shipping. Okay, I'm not here to piss all over you about that. I'm here to educate you on the fact that if you want to have and keep good long-term customers, we all should, yeah, I'm shouldn't on you. Be still. Have a sip of tea or something. Pay attention to the fact if it fits, it ships for one low rate of, how much, Deborah? 545 at the post office. 535 at the post office. And online? 515. And you don't have to pay the extra dollar something for the delivery confirmation. Because if you do your postage online, you get a free tracking number. And everybody can print their postage from the USPS click and ship website. You see? That's why God brought her into my life to teach me this. Because before I had a lot of money, I didn't care how much I paid for postage. I just put $10 on something, make sure you get it. Now, I got a meter, I'll put it that way, okay? So, you remember I was telling you about Mark and other places? Uh, anyway, other places that say, okay, Tosh, give me two days so I can take time to figure out how much your shipping is going to be. But for right now, we'll just call it $10. Well, for market it was only what five something. Okay, we're gonna pay. Are you gonna pay five five sixty? Okay, okay. And then a day that night or a day later, whatever, you get the real amount. Tasha, we put two dollars fifty six cents back into your PayPal account because the real postage was only a dollar seventy five. Whatever. Don't do the math. I was just. It's just an example. Just an example. Ooh, so I'll just breathe. It's just an example. Don't write to me about that. Because good people do that. Okay. Or people that don't want to make, you know, like a lot of people on eBay, Etsy, whatever, need to make money off postage. So the item is 99 cents, but the postage is $15. Do you want to really do that to customers you love and want to keep, like, the rest of your business line? I hope not. I hope not. And, you know, though I underestimate for postage because I, I appreciate those that are living on a very tight budget like myself. So you know what? I can eat some some of it sometimes. Sometimes. If it's the heavier stuff that I make, 
you probably gonna eat that. Okay, I just put that out there. I just just gonna be for true. Okay, you you gotta eat something sometimes. Sorry. Okay, so from now on, we're gonna go to USPS.com, right? And we're gonna set up an account. For those of you little one two person operations like myself, you're gonna get your scale. I know I should have brought it over with me. Yeah. Anyway, don't write about that. <laughs> So, you put your stuff on your scale and it says, oh, it's four ounces. I'm not going to charge Tasha $6.40 for postage. I'm going to put it in one of these. Hang on, hang on. And at least charge her only $5. Better yet, you see it's only four ounces. So, Deborah, how much would that cost? Probably, well, three. first class four ounces you can go first class up to 13 ounces but four ounces See. might be like three bucks halfway across the u.s See. maybe a little further um and it has to be in a plain package not See. the not the prepaid box so you know what you do since you're online usps.com and i set up my thing tasha's touch da -da -da, da -da -da. and for those of you who don't have wonderful people in your life like i have deborah you say, send me a free kit. Free kit. And you know what happens? Here's your stuff from the post office. Yeah, they come to your house. Furthermore, since Deborah has taught me better manners, you call them and you say, okay, I have this package for Deborah. Come pick it up tomorrow after 2 o'clock. Yeah, I'm here to pick up your package. Yes, they come to your door to pick up your package to be mailed. It's just not a TV commercial, really. I know it took me a minute, too. It took, it took Godson and Deborah. For real, for real. Okay? Real talk. So, let's go to USPS.com. We charge our customers fairly and ethically. Ethically. Okay? Makes for better cu customer service, long-term customer who's going to keep buying over and over and over because I'm not charging you an extra dollar fifty, whatever. Because let's see, in the long run, if you buy, if, well, for some of you, minimum like I buy, that's still at the end of the year, what, two, three hundred bucks in postage. I'm paying you to send me stuff. No, because you know what? I'm just going to go to Spencer Labradori, or I'm going to go to Magpie Gemstone, or I'm going to go blah, 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 blah. That say, hang on, Tosh. Give me $5 now. I'll give you back a change. Let me see accurately how much your postage is going to be. Yeah, yeah. They have my business for life, okay? Because they're trustworthy, right? They ain't trying to get over on me. You got good prices. You got good service. You, got, you reply to my emails the very next day. Come on. And it's not like, yeah, I'm going to charge you $200 for the necklace. Oh, and $20 for postage. Really? Hmm. Won't shop in your store. No. And you're in Cucamonga. Oh, and let me just, let me just, uh, what do you call it? Sidebar for a mm -hmm. minute here. Those of you that have an Etsy or whatever fire, whatever, whatever store, don't fucking lie to me and not put where you're shipping my shit from. Yeah, you know who you are. I sent you an email. I mean, I sent you a conversation email thing through Etsy saying, where are you shipping from? Because the confirmation online said this is coming from Hong Kong. What the hell? Do I look like order some motherfucking shit from Hong Kong and you never, never, ne did I say never reply to my goddamn email when I asked you where is this being shipped from? And you go on talking about the beads and shit like I, I'm not a big old huge black woman staring you in your face asking you where it came from. That is disrespectful, unethical, and rude. Now, if I wanted to be treated like that, I'd... Never mind, that's another video. Answer, people. Answer my question. But you know what? You don't answer my one little simple question. Where's this coming from? And that's the reason why I don't have it in four and a half weeks. I will give somebody else my money. Imagine that. 
Funny how that works, huh? I'm helping you pay your rent and mortgage, raise your children, you know, on my... Well, it would have been, it would have been, because this first order was only like $5. Yeah, I'm old school. I'm going to test your ass first, see how you treat me. You don't want to answer me? Oh, psh, there goes my $1,000 order for next time, huh? I will gladly give my money to somebody who's going to treat me well. Good customer service. Answers my question before ooh, midnight or so. Well, if I sent you an email at 8 o'clock this morning, come on. You don't check your emails regularly? I had 22 email boxes. I checked the business ones first and, you know, so on and so forth. Don't treat people like shit just to make money. Because one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm just going to get mad at you and I'm not going to make a video like this. And I'll just be cool with it. I'll just wash my hands of you. And they never wrote back, by the way. When I got sarcastic with her and I said, I, I don't think you answered my question. Thanks. And that's all I put. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm try I, ju I just want my stuff. I just want my stuff, okay? Because I figure like this. Deborah, when I buy something off of your store, I see that you're in California. Oh, you're very near me. You're in San Bernardino and I'm in San Jose. That should take, oh, about three days. Depending on your postal system, of course. Okay, so, you know, I'm not going to be a witch about it. I'll give you seven. And when it's not here on the seventh day, I don't give a shit if it's Sunday or Saturday. Deborah, did you forget about me, honey? I, how are you? Are you feeling okay? Hmm. Woo woo. No reply. Monday. No reply. Tuesday. Wednesday. Fuck you. Where's my shit? Oh, I was in the hospital, Tosh. And? You're confused, right? You thought so, that had to do so, with me? How, so, no, and don't write me no shit about that either. Because you know what? I know mo more of you than don't, than not, have children. You know, go to my customer, go to my Etsy, and then people convo me, say, my mom will be back in a week. Imagine that. Imagine that. And if you're like me, I'm not shitting on you say you should be like me, but damn, you saw my hospital video, okay? I'm just saying. Customer service means everything. Now, I'm not saying, you know, necessarily if you're dying. Okay, so you had the operation yesterday, so today, Tosh, gonna be late in shipping. Enter. And it's on Facebook, so the whole world knows. Well, all my 572 friends know. Yoshi's going to be late because you laid up in the hospital. Okay, cool. Ain't got no beef with that. Cool. You know? But if I could go home and bury my brother and still be back at my meeting with you, 9 o'clock Monday, I know I say that a lot, but it's true. You know, I can I can mourn after our meeting. Okay? I can't. He ain't going to come alive. And that's my brother. I cried for months and months and months. So I'm not trying to be a bitch and say, oh, just put everything on hold. It's an hour out of your life to keep good business connections. If you don't want to do business and have ethics and a heart and be fair, why have a business? Why have a business? That's like having a child say, oh, you're gay? Ugh. You're going to go to hell anyway. Get out of my house. Really? So today, I think Deborah for educating me. I thank myself for having enough common sense to want to know how to do and be better. Hopefully you want to know how to do and be better. Leave some tips and stuff. How do you, how do, you do it? You know, I always want to know more. How do you do it? You know, do you do your stuff on only Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Because, you know, i got to take into consideration, like, um, well, I'm not going to say no names. One of the ladies that I buy a lot from because she treats me so good. This lady treats me so well. Be like, Tosh, I'm headed to the supplies. You need anything? And I'd be like, yeah, give me some more of those long crystals with the holes in it. She's the only person I've ever met that has crystals with the holes in it. Anyway, well, because she, she lives in whatever. <laughs> and I only go to the post office on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that's it. Or Tuesday, Thursday, whatever. You know? Come on, people. Let's do. Let's treat each other better, especially in business. Cause you know what? Word of mouth travels fast. And when you're fucked up, I do these videos. 
and word travels like wildfire. However, I'm going to try to remember to be spiritual. <laughs> Let my spirit take over for a second and say, I ain't going to mention no names. Because she didn't piss me off that much. I just thought that was not very kind not to answer me. It's coming from Hong Kong, Tosh. Okay, cool. Then I won't expect it for another two weeks. Okay, no big thing. And then I can let my customer know. Though I realize I shouldn't put my burden on you and expect that. Yeah, right. In two weeks. You know? Sorry. <laughs> I guess I could have moved the lamp. Sorry. Let's just treat each other fairly, humanely, spiritually, and just do the right thing the first time. Because if you can't answer every email and answer and return every call, maybe you ought not have a business. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm pretty damn good. You know, every email, I have, I have three business email addresses. Every night before midnight, I'm going to reply to all three of those email boxes. Every night of my life, every night of my life, I do some marketing. Every night of my life, I go out out of my comfort zone and say, you know, Deborah, this is Tasha. I met you because, you know, Carolyn, she went to the bathroom at HVO and she bought my earrings and she said, you might like these earrings. If you're interested, let me know. Here's my Facebook. Here's my email. Here's what you could text me, you, you know, and you give all different, 10 different ways to get to know you, reach you, something. There you go. It's only hard the first time. Really. It's only hard the first time. It only takes 21 days to recreate and to create or recreate new habits. Did you know that? Yeah, 21 days. So start now. 20, go down 21, 29, all the way down to one, and you should, hopefully, <laughs> have gotten yourself out of the old pattern and made a new pattern. Okay. So today, boys and girls, we're all gonna go to USPS.com. We're gonna order our free kits. We're going to charge our customers fairly. So we can have a good long-term business. Okay? Okay. I'm going to shut up now because I just heard the dryer go off. Not that you didn't know that. But we got things to do, okay? We going out, y'all. So, yeah, that's why you didn't see me on Facebook today. You don't have my Facebook? Yeah. T uh, whatever. Look me up. TashaSpeaks at gmail.com. Yeah, there's, there's, lots of, there's actually there's quite a few Tasha Harris's on there. So, just look for the one in San Jose. <laughs> or is it Campbell? Whatever. Tasha speaks at gmail.com. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love yourself. Do the right thing. All the time. <laughs>